Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute glitter shaker pencil cases. This is just a regular pencil case, but I'm gonna show you how to personalize it and also add the glitter to the front panel. Now with all my tutorials, I will have a blog post which will be linked below as well as the information icon in the top right hand corner of this video. There you will find any materials and links to any of the products and tools I use in my tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you subscribed, hit that notification bell to be alerted of new and future tutorials, and smash that like button as the kids like to say. Okay, so now I'm just going to lay out all my pieces. I'm using a printed fabric for the back of my pencil case. I'm using a 16 gauge vinyl or just any thick vinyl you have on hand. And then three pieces of just regular solid cotton fabric. One of them is going to go behind the lettering. So if you're using HTV to personalize it, um, using a obviously a less distracting fabric such as a solid color will be best so that you can read the words. So I am using HTV for the lettering and I'll show you how to do that. And then I got these really cute sequins and um, chunky glitter over at the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my lettering. I'm using HTV and I'm going to apply it to one of the lining pieces. So this is the one that of course will be on the inside of that clear vinyl panel. And I'm going to do a layering technique. So I cut this out with my Cricut. So just cut it to the size of whatever you want it to be, depending on the size of the pencil case that you're making. And I'm going to lay my first layer down and just do a quick press, just enough so that the vinyl letters will stick. And then I'm gonna put the second layer on and then I'll give both of those a good press. And if there's any of the first layer sticking out, you're gonna make sure that you have a parchment layer to protect the first layer. And then just give it a really good press to make sure that it's all nice and secure. And then I'm just gonna take off that last clear piece to expose all my lettering. And then we can create the shaker portion of our pencil case. So like I said, I'm using a between 12 to 16 gauge vinyl. It's nice and sturdy and it, it's hard to puncture. So you'd have to be very deliberate if you want to make a hole in this. So it'll keep the contents, you know, nice and secure. I'm just gonna sew all the way around it with a less than quarter of an inch seam allowance. Just enough so that the two layers will stick together. Cause we're gonna do another seam when we assemble the bag. So we just need enough so that the glitter will stay in there during the construction process. And for the glitter, I am using sequins and chunky glitter. I've done it with fine glitter and I recommend you do not <laughs> use fine glitter unless you aren't doing any lettering. But the fine glitter really just destroys the inside of the, the vinyl window and you can't see anything. It just sticks to it and then it's just like, ah. I did it and I ruined one. So I've, I've done the experiment experimenting so you know to stay away from the fine glitter at all costs. So I left a little hole at the top, like two inches wide should be good enough and I'm going to place in my glitter. So you really could use anything at this point. You could use beads with letters, you know anything that little trinkets or just you know small little things. You could do whatever you want really. Anything that could bring your kid's personality out into their pencil case. But uh, I decided just to stick with the sequins and the sequins are nice and big so that they really do move around on the inside. So that's cool. The glitter does kind of just stick to the vinyl, but it, it still moves around a little bit too. So you want to have a little bit of, you know, something heavy just so that it does actually shake. So I'm just going to quickly sew up that hole to make sure that the glitter all stays on the inside of that panel. And we'll start making the actual zipper pouch. So I'm just going to take my zipper, put it with the zipper pull down on top of that final panel. And then I'll take one of my linings and sandwich that on top, making sure that all your edges are nice and lined up. This is just a regular zipper pouch, so it's nothing too fancy. So if you've already seen some of my tutorials in the past, you know the drill. But of course, you could totally take this panel and apply it to any type of a zipper pouch, really. You want to make it into a box pouch or if you want to make it into a double zipper 
pencil case. I'll have a bunch of links in the information icon as well as down below for different type of pencil cases that you could definitely apply this shaker panel to. So I just changed over to my zipper foot and I'm just going to sew right down the edge of the zipper here. And then I'll just flip it right sides out and we will do a top stitch. Because the vinyl is so thick, when you do go to do this top stitch, um, you wanna kind of just press it with your fingers and try to flatten as much as possible. Otherwise it will kind of make the stitches longer and not lay as flat. So just kind of push it down as you're going. And then we'll apply the last two pieces, which is the printed panel. That's gonna go on top of the zipper with the zipper pull. And then we'll put that last piece of lining on to the back. And we will line all that up and again, do a seam down the zipper and then flip it right sides out and then do our top stitch. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. I just want to address last week's trivia question, which was what were zippers invented for? So they were invented in 1893 and they were invented for boots and shoes just to speed up that whole process. And then later they were adapted to pants and skirts. So that's pretty neat that they were not meant for pants or actual garments. Not surprising. So this week's trivia question is, and of course leave all your answers in the comments below, is sewing needles were not made of metal. So what material do you think they were made of? So leave your answers down below and I'll address it in next week's tutorial. So now we're just going to put all the right sides together from the front panels to the lining panels and we're gonna sew all the way around leaving a three or four inch gap in the lining. So just like a regular zipper pouch tutorial. And I'm gonna do a seam allowance that is greater than the first seam allowance we did on our front panel. So if you did a quarter of an inch then you can do a half inch just to make sure that none of those seams that were on the front panel pouch are exposed once the bag is turned right side out. So you wanna just make sure that you're on the inside of those ones. And then you'll have two rows of stitching to make sure that that glitter will stay all nice and contained and you don't have to worry about any of it falling out. And then make sure you open up your zipper pull about halfway just so that you can get over that zipper and you don't end up cutting off your zipper pull. And then I just left a like a four inch gap. I'm gonna snip off the excess zipper and any of the bulk around the sides, especially where the vinyl is just so that you get a nice edge. And then we'll just use that hole that we left in the lining for turning. I'll open up the zipper a little bit more to make it easier. If you want to heat up your ironing board and place your bag on the ironing board to warm up your vinyl to make it easier for turning, you can do that. Um, I used that trick in my last vinyl pouch tutorial and it can make things a lot easier when you're turning with your vinyl. Just going to make sure that we poke the corners as best as we can and the sides and just kind of press your vinyl so that it creases in those areas and then we can just do up our zipper. And then we're done. I was having a hard time with my zipper though. <laughs> so I think it turned out really cute and I'm going to make one for every kid in the family because they definitely love to have that shaker aspect and the glitter. So definitely share it with your friends and pin it on Pinterest. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.